though the Super Bowl was a bust, the commercials were still a hit. This year's lineup left fans in every living room itching with suspense to the final whistle. Let's check out this year's top five commercials. With a clapping fountain and an encouraging bear, CarMax deserves a round of applause for its group effort in securing fifth place. I let go of the kid riding the bike, and he just falls and eats it. I guess it was kind of funny, but it was jacked up at the same time. Coming in at number four, Guy Humor subs in as Full House star John Stamos accidentally spills yogurt on his pants, which carries Oikos to instant fame. Oops, I did it again. Definitely a trick I should probably use some time, you know. Uh, I just thought it was really funny. Tim Tebow made it to the Super Bowl with his Oscar-worthy performance in this year's T-Mobile ad. Man, the things he can do without a contract holding him back. You might want to hold on to those donuts. The Tim Tebow one's really funny. Nice to see Tim Tebow back on the TV. Doritos takes us back to the future with the flavor-filled time machine, winning this year's number two spot. It's the we always look forward to the Doritos commercial, those are pretty awesome. The Doritos one, I thought that was like pretty cheesy. There can only be one number one, and this year it goes to Budweiser. The friendship of a horse and a dog captures every viewer, leaving them filled with high spirits. It's cute. Even like being a guy, I was like, alright, this is sick. Come on, how could you not fall for that puppy? So there you have it, Kings. This year's top five Super Bowl commercials. Stephen Del Carson, live from 205.